Today we're at Shepherd Farms with Dan Shepherd of Clifton Hill, Missouri, which is uh, north central Missouri. And uh, I thought Dan would be great to feature for Ag Day because uh, he's got some niche businesses. Uh, Dan, you want to tell us a little bit about uh, your operation here in Clifton Hill? Well, John, we're sitting here uh, on about 3,000 acres and uh, mainly we're kind of maybe in the pecan orchard business, uh, pecan business. We run about 300 acres of pecan orchards. Uh, Along with that, uh, corn and soybeans, about uh, 2,200 acres of row crop. Along with some of the buffalo and that sort of thing. And we also have a, uh, an on-farm store where we sell our produce of uh, pecans and that sort of things. Okay, can you tell us a little bit how you got in, uh, in, into pecans? Well, the pecan business has really been an interesting business for us. My father uh, came from central Arkansas where pecans were native and uh, moved up in this part of the country. was surprised to find pecans growing up here. He always wanted to be kind of a gentleman farmer and, and have a pecan orchard, so he ended up buying about 20 acres uh, you know, back in the uh, mid-60s. And uh, I remember him taking us out, showing us the 20 acres he'd bought next to the river down here. And I climbed up on the levee and looked out over this big farm. And I said, gee, Pop, you own this, you can plant a lot of pecans. And he said, well, it is for sale. And within a few years later, we ended up buying it. But uh, uh, since then, we've uh, planted pecans and stuff and uh, started going that way. So it's, uh, it's been good for everybody. So at what age uh, do you buy the, uh, the tree, and then how soon can you harvest nuts off of it? Well, mainly in northern Missouri, we found out it's really if where you want a tree, you plant a nut. And like all these were planted where uh, we want a tree, we put a couple nuts in the ground and uh, staked them off. And uh, uh, when they sprouted and came up, we just let one grow and uh, went on from there. We found out it's about as easy to do it that way as to plant berry trees. Especially on berry trees from a year like this year where we've had a tremendous drought there, we would have probably lost most of our berry trees. So uh, planting that uh, seems to work the best. This is a little different business. It's uh, maybe some of the nice thing about it is, you know, when I go to bed at night, I know that tree's there. And when I get up in the morning, it's going to be in the exact same place as the like your beef cow or your hog could be out someplace else running around. But pecan trees tend to stay where you put it, which may be some of the nice things about it. Probably some of the downsides about the pecan business, especially here in northern Missouri, is that we have a fairly short uh, growing season, which means it takes uh, quite a few extra years for our pecans to come in production. Uh, we plant a nut, we expect a tree, if we graft him, to start getting a few nuts at maybe age uh, 12 to 15 years, get a harvestal production of about 20, and full production at 25, which takes about twice as long as what they get in the south. Also, our varieties we can raise up here are not what we call precocious, where they tend to bear at an early age. They tend to, to be a, a kind of a late bearer as far as time-wise and their age. But also, again, that they live for many years. You know, we figure pecan trees are good for 100 years, so they'll outlive me, for sure. Uh, people always want to know about production on pecan trees, uh, full production out here. We shoot for a thousand pounds of nuts per acre. We really don't like to go by tree because it depends on the age of the tree and how many thickness, you know, and how you know, how large the tree is and stuff. So about a thousand pounds an acre is what we shoot for. Some years we beat that. Some years, you know, like this year, we're not going to make it. But uh, we hope for that. Uh, prices have been pretty well for us. Uh, we have our farm store on the farm where we sell you know, almost all our pecans that way, uh, retail wise, and uh, we do the, the cracking and, the, and the, even the shelling and. The, up to them so it gives the employees on doing the winter time and we also use that to uh, uh, you know add value to our product which uh, cut out the more limit. I'd really rather have a thousand small customers than one or two big customers if I was selling strictly to a shower. So that's some of the nice things about the pecan business. It's a long term deal. Kind of the old saying is that only old men plant trees and that's really not true because I sure plant an awful lot of these but I had an old man out there making me plant them. So that was the deal. That's great. This has uh, been John Buckner for uh, uh, Day in Agriculture uh, for uh, Farm Journal Media.